Hello you all, welcome to the channel, welcome to Radko Tarot, it's Rad and uh, in this whole video we're going to look into Cancer and uh, their week of December 21st to December 27th, a 2020 and uh, just to remind you guys that right now it's uh, on the Facebook or for the Facebook followers exclusively uh, there is a flash sale of the Tarot classes that is going on, so uh, pretty much if you are a Facebook follower, you can uh, purchase the uh, Minor Arcana Tarot class for the 50% of the price and Major Arcana Tarot class for the 35% of the price. If you are not a Facebook follower, you can um, have a look at my Facebook page, a a link for it you are going to find into the description down below. And if you do want to take advantage of the classes, just give me a message on the Facebook page messages. So with that being said, let's uh, have a look at uh, Cancer, what uh, kind of a week you are to experience. The first card which stands as the topic of your week, that is going to be the uh, Eight of Pentacles. Moving next, we do have the energies which are feeding and supporting the topic here. That is going to be the energy of the Four of uh, Wands. Moving next, we do have the obstacles and the challenges that you will have to overcome throughout the week. Not the obstacles, but rather the challenges that you will have to overcome throughout the week. That is going to be the uh, Emperor card. Followed by uh, the gifts and the blessings that you do get to enjoy here. And we do have the Ace of Cups. Moving next, that is the impression that you are leaving into the people around. What kind of a person people see when they look at you within your deeds. That will be the five of uh, wands, followed by the obstacles which are going to hold you back and down and that is going to be the queen of wands. Moving next, we do have the positive aspects which are going to help you push your things forward. That will be the temperance card. And the last one we have for you, which stands as the guidance the tarot is offering, that is to be the seven of cups. So have faith or believe. It is pretty much the message that this reading is uh, trying to convey to you, um, beautiful Cancer. So let's uh, first talk a little bit for the first couple of cards, which are once again the energies that are feeding and supporting the topic of the week. So the energies four of ones and the topic eight of pentacles. So this week, uh, Cancer, uh, not just only you, but also the previous three star signs as well, under different circumstances though, does look like that we are talking about wrapping things around. However, with your energies that we do have, this is like um, uh, accomplishing a very strong and solid milestone for you, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. A milestone that will help you after that to expand drastically, either career-wise or either relationship-wise as well. Those energies, guys, are going to help you see the most important details within your situation to identify those most important details and um, tackle with those details with subtlety, with ease, with conscientiousness, with, uh, with, with keen mind, uh, a keen eye, I'm sorry, and in generally have that touch for for a finesse for 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 a uh, perfection and that is exactly how the week is going to move forward for you uh, you are, are going to dive into those activities that you do want to wrap around up until the end of the year or up until the end of this week because from the next week moving forward celebrations are coming in and uh, uh, I, I doubt that you would want to how can I say, undertake a such a, a serious, if you will, tasks and responsibilities. Now, where that is going to lead to, um, the more you accomplish throughout the week, the more you're going to clear out a space and as well time for you after that to, uh, to pretty much initiate a big project or big relationship, you know, or a big thing that you have probably dreamt for for quite a while now. So the, this week is more like a preparation, the final preparation, wrapping up the final preparation before actually the real deal takes place. And you are to do it flawlessly, okay? I mean, there is no doubt about it. Uh, just to throw it out there for those which are single, um, it seems that, you know, throughout this week, you are to identify why you are single, 
what is the real reason that you cannot kind of like connect with somebody okay work on it and after that you know things are just going to be unstuck they're, they're going to be set into stir for you moving next we do have the challenges that you are to overcome and that is the challenge of the emperor so challenging wise that is about uh how can i say mm. oh my god that is uh It's very difficult to describe it really uh, the challenge is about uh, showing yourself reliable and consistent but not at all cost uh, because otherwise um, there won't be any pleasure there won't be any satisfaction of the accomplished deed so you have to find the right measure or the right measurements just so you can face the ups and downs with ease but in the same time not to make your life stoic that is pretty much the challenge that you are to face or in other words gain control over your life without your your life to gain control over you so how you can do that it's pretty simple just pay more attention to yourself and to your own personal time whatever responsibilities you do have throughout the day or throughout the week always aim to at least have a half an hour of the day for yourself to do what you find amusing to do what you find pleasant to do what you make you happy in general because that is the uh, the sole purpose of the emperor you know to be reliable to be consistent but not just only with the responsibilities but with yourself as well that will help you to uh, pretty much make yourself a responsibility of yourself if that makes sense and uh, take care of yourself more than anybody else can take care of you moving next we do have uh, the gifts and the blessings that you do get to enjoy now that is the ace of cups and that is love guys i mean that is the love for life itself okay so you're gonna love your life you're gonna love what is happening and how the things are shaping around and uh, with that the, it comes the gift and the blessing of recognizing problems that you don't have to deal with anymore i mean they're gonna be there you know problems concerns but they are not relevant to you and to your life any any longer that is going to transcend your daily reality into something very beautiful and pretty much by the end of the week like i said you are gonna love your life you're gonna love your romantic life you're gonna love your career life as well that is for a everything that it is happening and, and everything that it is accomplishing for throughout the week you are going to be pretty and joyful and, and how can i say um fulfilled about its uh, about its development it's really really good good card and as a love for life itself it could signify coming up of uh, of love but that is if you do start dating because the eight of pentacles predispose that if you are single you gotta show yourself in front of the world that you are single and, and it's just the gift is gonna come to you throughout the week the gift of love is gonna come to you throughout the week so moving next uh, we do have uh, the impression of the people around what they see when they look at you and we do have the five of wands so uh, people are going to see you as a bit of an, an opportunistic type of nature but not in a bad way people are going to see you very active dynamic if i may say it that way uh, a person who denies failure and a person who is uh, very sharp into scaling up the opportunities ahead a person who is always capable to turn around the situation or to make an around turn within their situation and not just only within their situation but within work for example and to transform a failure into success so that is gonna pre pretty much what i'm trying to say here is that people are gonna see when they look at you they're gonna see a wild card okay and nobody is gonna uh, mess around with you for nobody will know what you are truly capable of and uh, that uh, has its plus and minus side of course plus side it is that uh, people are gonna see you as a force to be reckoned with minus side Mm, it's it will be a bit difficult to socialize with uh, with people for, for simply because they are going to find you unpredictable and that's uh, pose fear 
into one's personality and into one's soul. I'm talking about those that you are into, that you are going to interact with. There could be some kind of a conflicts here and there as the five of wands predispose, but those conflicts, Cancer, are going to be a, a positive type of conflicts. Conflicts that within the conflict, the truth is born or found, okay? It's not going to be pointless wrangle or a pointless argument. Moving next, we do have uh, the obstacles which are going to hold you back and down. That is the Queen of Wands. So we do have a person here very displeased with how things are developing for you. What I do suspect is that this person kind of holds certain grip over your life. And what we said before that, you are to gain control over your life. That is your challenge. Okay, so that person, uh, it, it's a type of an individual that had an impression that you can't uh, pretty much survive, let's say, or push your things through without the person itself. Well, you are going to prove them wrong for what it seems and all resides within these uh, that, I, that, that I talked about, these important details, which you are going to um, scale, or rather like you are going to uh, acknowledge and as well find the right way, the brilliant way, how to deal with them, which is going to cause um, you to be prepared for the big thing that it is to follow, probably at the start of 2021. But the Queen of Wands, uh, these people, they are very jealous when they are not in this, uh, at the center of the thing, you know, for example, the center of the company, or um, they are not the most, in, the MVP in the project and so on and so forth. And it seems that you are going to knock them off or simply you are going to confront them and say, look, it, it's great. We, 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 we um, got this far because we were together, but I, I don't need you anymore. I mean, I can, I can do everything by myself and uh, this, is, uh, this is how it is. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of like you are going to burst the bubble of somebody that will be very jealous and um, you can't expect that this person is going to try to regain position and you should not allow them to do so. The next card that we do have, that is the uh, positive aspects which are going to help you push your things through, that is temperance. And these, this refers to the chores and to the um, undeniable, um, yeah, it's chores and responsibilities that daily routine always brings to one that are the other side of the coin. It is what I like to say always when I do have that card. It is that you do have a coin. The coin has as it as entails and you can't have one without the other. So uh, temperance here refers to those kind of like annoying or irritating part of the job or part of the relationship that comes inevitably, inevitably either with the job or with the relationship. But because temperance in here is here, it shows that you can find a way to make that thing run pleasant. It, it doesn't have to be annoying anymore. It doesn't have to be irritating anymore. And should you play around with it a little bit, you're going to find that you can make it like a game, you know. And uh, that way, you will have no problem whatsoever at accomplishing the chores or the responsibilities that daily routine brings to you. And the last thing that the temperance here shows for you, Cancer, that is going to help you push your things forward, that is, uh, just give me a second here to gain control of my camera, that is the, uh, how can I say, the sense of respect that you are going to have toward people with different opinion and people, aside from that Queen of Wands, that are going to have toward your opinion. And that probably is going to shock that person, okay, because they will think that everybody is going to be on their side and suddenly they're going to find themselves lonely, that nobody actually supports them. People support you instead of them. And the last one, that is to be the guidance that Taro is offering. We do have the Seven of Cups. And guidance-wise, don't be afraid, okay? Don't be afraid to try because with, uh, within this week at least, all the, the worst that can happen is some kind of a disappointment that will allow you to try anew. But the, there is some kind of a checkpoint, like I said, the foundation that you are to establish. And you cannot go beneath that checkpoint. Okay, so it, it, it will not hurt you in any way possible to try out stepping forward out of this checkpoint in many ways. See which one works for you. And that uh, is going to transform fantasies 
that you may have for your future to actually see it growing. So that being said, Cancer, this was your a weekly general tarot reading uh, December 21st to December 27, 2020. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, guys, and we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.